Well, well, well. What do we have here? Omelander. Notice on the temporary suspension of Alliance Conquest. My wife, son. <laughs> we would like to inform you that Alliance Conquest will be improved to make the gameplay more enjoyable. Hey, yo. And the content will be temporarily unable to enter while improvements are in progress. Please check below for details. You will not be able to play Conquest from today until the maintenance is finished on 723. So this gives us two pieces of crucial information. One, we know for sure, despite no sneak peeks, that the next update is going with maintenance is going to happen on the 23rd, which is next Tuesday. So we are less than a week away from what is most likely going to be a Wolverine and Deadpool update. And I say that because if you go over to the forums and you check the latest preparation event, which unfortunately has Doom, who should be buffed, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's usually a clue in this pre-update event as to what the next update will be. And so they give us the following tagline. Please look forward to the combination of the two superheroes and their new enemy coming to Marvel Future Fight. A lot of people are reading this, a combination of two heroes being Deadpool and Wolverine. And then if you've seen the trailers, you know who the new enemy is. I'm not gonna spoil it if you haven't seen the trailers, if you wanna go into the movie blind, it's a bit out of left field who the enemy is. Um, but you'll find out uh, you'll find it in less than a week, so I, I don't mind uh, not mentioning it here. So we know that the update's next week. We know that it's 95% likely to be Deadpool Wolverine. And now we know that the update will also feature improvements to Conquest. And their specified goal, he goal here is improving the gameplay and make the gameplay more enjoyable. So let's talk about exactly what that means, because you can't play Qu Conquest right now. Um, and what exactly do I think Conquest needs? Well, this is actually what I think, what, what most people think Conquest needs, but let's talk about it. I think the first thing, and again, I, I really hope that uh, they do these things, right? Obviously. But I think the first thing that Conquest needs is to do away with the 1v1v1 format, where you have three alliances fighting 1v1v1. Because what inevitably happens and what will absolutely happen if they leave the 1v1v1 and they improve the rewards and they improve the gameplay is that more alliances will seek to collude, will seek to gang up and, and perform 2v1s. Because why wouldn't you do that, right? If you perform a 2v1, you have obviously in, highly increased odds of placing second or first, which improve your rewards. Um, and then you have a much easier route uh, uh, to victory rather than having to face another alliance 1v1. And the easiest way to illustrate this is to just point you to the top two alliances. I want you to read the names of, coincidentally, the two alliances that are number one and number two in um, Alliance Conquest. One is called Axis, and the other one is called Axis of God. And you would be shocked, I think, to, to find out that these are actually the same alliance. I know, it's weird because they have almost the same name. Super weird, right? Yeah, super duper weird. There's probably a couple of other alliances if I scroll through the top 100, but I don't really need another alliance to, to, to show you to make this point. That if the players at the top are willing to do this when the rewards are this bad, then what's going to happen when the rewards are good? Tons of alliances are going to do this shit, and it's going to completely ruin, it's going to dumpster the experience. Uh, if you've never been gangbanged before, congratulations. Uh, please continue to avoid it. But yeah, it's really not fun to do a 2v1. You basically just feel like not playing for the week because it's it's deeply unfair um, and essentially anything you do just gets slapped down. Even even you know even if the third ranked alliance were to go against one and two, they have essentially zero percent chance to win unless something befalls uh, the rank two or rank one alliance and they they none of them can log in right some some sort of miracle some sort of act of God. So that's the first thing is that they have to eliminate the 1v1v1 format and they have to switch to what should have been obvious from the get-go when they released conquest back in like 2016 or 2017 a 1v1 format it should just be a 1v1 format very very simple that's the first thing the second thing i think they need to do which i don't really have a good example for this but they need to shorten the phase timers right now the phase durations for conquest are two hours three times a day yeah, no, I wasn't finished. It's two hours, three times a day. That's a that's a job, brother. That's six hours a day. That's a job. That's a job. You better be you better be stamping my paycheck and sending that to me every two weeks. If you expect me to show up four days a week for six hours, 
You got to be outside of your mind. Players just do not have the time or the patience. In this economy? Oh, hell no. So they have to, they absolutely have to fix that. If they just cut it in half, hey, it's only three hours a day now. That's much more manageable. Also, to be realistic, no one expects uh, anyone to log in all three uh, for all three phases. So ideally, you log in for one phase or two phases. So that cuts it down to one or two hours down from two to four hours, which I think is, is great. But yeah, they got to shorten the phases. Um, and then probably the most obvious one and the one that people are screaming at the most is they need to improve rewards. Right now, the rewards for Conquest are pretty sad. The only reward worth mentioning is if you are in Challenger. So this is not for the normal conquest, right? Normal conquest, the rewards are just... You have to be in the top 100. So there's already a prerequisite. You have to grind your way up to top 100. And then obviously it goes without saying, but only the top 100 alliances can actually access these rewards. So you're only talking about uh, the top, what, 4,000 players? That's cringe, right? That shouldn't be the case. Anyways, um, and then even if you're in the top 4,000, uh, 4, right? It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. 4,000? Yes, 4,000. It doesn't even matter because you have to get 30 attacks in. You have to get 30 attacks in. Why? Because if you don't get 30 attacks in, you don't get a chance at any good rewards. And it's a very small chance. Let me remind you of that. It's a very, very small chance, an exceedingly small chance to get something good. Uh, what if you do 25 attacks or 29 attacks? No, your rewards are pretty much shit. All of the P cards, all of the CTPs, all of the Odin's Blessings just slurped out of the rewards. And if you get less than that, it just gets progressively worse and stinkier and more garbage. And again, even if you are in normal and you get 30 plus attacks, which is a lot of work, you still have pretty dog tier rewards. This looks like a Shadowland chest that you open, you know, for 10 coins. That's what this shit looks like. So they need to they need to massively overhaul the rewards. Um, easiest way to do this, guys. Ve very, very easy. Just copy and paste from your other game modes. Every uh, time you attack and you succeed, you get tokens. Alliance Conquest tokens. Does this sound familiar? At the end of the week of Conquest, if you win or lose, you get a certain number of, say it with me now, tokens. You get Alliance Conquest tokens. All right, great. And then you're going to have an Alliance Conquest Alliance Conquest Shop, where you can spend your Alliance Conquest tokens. Wow, this is a huge revolutionary idea. Very novel indeed. Uh, yeah, that's basically what they have to do. And they just have to model it after the Shadowland Shop. Because seriously, right now, look at this. Look at the Shadowland Chest and tell me that this doesn't actually look better than 99% of the chests from Conquest. So I can buy one of, I can buy five of these right now. And I have made videos where I buy hundreds of these at a time. And that, and you get one of those chests, one singular chest, for being a good boy and playing Alliance Conquest for the whole fucking week. Yeah, that shit's trash. Conquest probably has the worst rewards to time or rewards to effort ratio of anything I've ever seen in any game. Like, it's, it's dog tier, bro. It's dog tier. Like, look at this, guys. Whoa. I just got my conquest rewards. Whoa! Oh my god! A week's worth of conquest rewards? Let's do another week's worth. Whoa! Another week's worth of conquest rewards. You know what? Let's do another week's of con Whoa! Another week of conquest rewards. Let's do a month, bro. That's actually better. Honestly, that's better. Unless you get a CTP from conquest or a P card. Yeah. All of those rewards I got are as good or better. So yeah, they have to improve the rewards. That's probably the biggest thing that they need to do is improve the rewards. Um, and then some smaller changes they can make, which they should absolutely have no reason not to make. There's no excuse not to make this. Um, increase the number of team presets. We have 269 characters, but we only have spots for 20 characters. Or not, sorry, not 20 characters, um, 60 characters. Uh, 60 characters? Yes, 60 characters. Make that make sense, right? So right now, what, 6, 12, 18, 24, you have less than 25%. You're giving, <laughs> you're giving players room for less than 25% of the total roster. Right now, there's almost 60 tier 4s. So think about that. You could have all of the tier 4s in the game. You could have pumped so much money into the whale that is, the, the cash cow that is Marvel Future Fight. Um, and you could just pump all the tier 4s into here and you would almost be full. That's insane. So they absolutely need to add... You know, they need to double this or triple this to have like 20 or 30 team presets. 
more. We need way more. Uh, you know, way, way, Kylo Ren, way more meme. Um, and then the last one here that I've talked about a lot. I mean, I've, I've given so many suggestions to Conquest. I don't know where to start here. But I think the most important one here, um, the Challenger Alliance Conquest should have zone restructuring. So when you look at the Conquest map, um, they should create restrictions in certain zones. For example, zones, all of the even zones, like 2, 4, 6, 8, or whatever. All of the, the odd zones, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, right? Whatever. Um, but they should have heavy restrictions, you know, on, on the characters that can be there. And they can they can rotate every day or whatever uh but they should have heavy restrictions like you have in in world boss like you have an alliance uh, battle legend alliance battle extreme heavy restrictions to force to encourage unique team compositions and then encourage players to build a larger portion of their roster because that as it's, as it stands right now for the big zones right the zones that that create choke points and five which has the most which gives the most stars um those points are just filled with the top meta teams. So you're just going to see uh, 10 copy paste teams of, you know, Gene, Wolverine, Ancient One or whatever, you know, Gene, Wolverine, Molecule Man. And then it's just the same thing, copy and paste it all the way through. And then the, the sub team, whatever, uh, or maybe you're going to have, you know, Sentry, Colossus and whatever, you know, uh, Wolverine, whatever. You get what I'm saying. Um, you're just going to have the exact same team 10 times. So Creating these restrictions uh, makes it more interesting. You're going to see different characters highlighted. You know, they can take a lot of the... They can take the buffs from other world battle, right? They can they can do like a battlefield effect for specific zones. Um, or they can take the restrictions from, from uh, specific content, like I mentioned already. But world boss is a great example. So one of the zones, you know, you're only allowed to use, let's see, uh, universal heroes. Right. So, yeah, you're going to see a lot of uh, Ghost Riders. But maybe you're going to see Rachel Summers as well. Maybe you're going to see a lot of, you know, some other character, right? Sentry. Well, you're going to see a lot of Sentry. But you get what I'm saying, right? Okay. Maybe Blast Female Hero. Right. So now people are like, oh shit, there's actually not a lot of good Blast Female Heroes um, for PvP. You're thinking, oh, Sharon Rogers? No, that's PV. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe I'm going to build a Blue Dragon. But hang on. I can't build a Blue Dragon because it's, it's only Blast Female Heroes. I can't use Sunbird. So Blue Dragon is not going to have Revive. I can use Valyria and Invisible Woman. Oh, but there's no Franklin, so she's not going to have Immortality. Oh, but maybe she can still do it. See, now I'm making decisions. Now I'm, I'm interacting with the game. Now I'm using my knowledge of the game. I'm leveraging my knowledge. And I'm thinking, you know, who, who do I need to invest in here? Who's going to who's gonna give me the most bang for my buck? Maybe Ancient One, maybe somebody else, whatever. Emma Frost, right? See, the creative juices, the, the gears start turning in your head rather than just slapping on Sentry Gene Wolverine and calling it a day. So yeah, that's kind of my last uh, and probably the most far-fetched piece of advice is to to ask the devs to make the game more uh, restrictive, to make it more interesting. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping for Conquest. If they can hit at least two of those things that I mentioned in this video, I mentioned five things. If they can mention two of them, uh, it's good. If they can, sorry, not mention. If they if they execute two of those things, it's good. If they execute three of those things, it's fantastic. If they execute four or more, I'll go streaking. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyways, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. What do you expect for Conquest? Thank you so much for watching. Will you be playing if they buff enough stuff? Smash like button if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.